We've got uh, Matt Christensen and yep. Greg McKenna, who are uh, with, uh, pa uh, I'm sorry, graphic packaging. graphic packaging. It says it right on your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, how's your brew round session going? So far, it's been great. Yeah, it's been great. You know, yeah. we've uh, had some had some some good traffic at the booth walking through, and uh, some interested folks, and you know, a lot of people, uh, a lot of breweries and planning, and um, you know, as you know, two breweries opening in a day, as we uh, read in your fine fine uh, website yesterday, and it's uh, it's been pretty amazing. It's, it it's is great. pretty amazing. Now, when did you guys start getting into the craft beer uh, category? Well. Um, so I was part of a company that was uh, purchased by Graphic Packaging uh, okay. a few several years ago, and we opened our doors almost 21 years ago. Mm -hmm. And um, we were we were located just outside of Chico, um, so we had a we had a little brewery there that uh, that we were able to bring on as our first customer. Great. Um, and so so we've been in the craft sector ever since. What was that little brewery? It's uh, it's uh, called Sierra Nevada Brewing. Company. Sierra Nevada Sierra Brewing Nevada Company. Nevada. Just a little one. Yeah. Yes, now now yes. it's a. I think they're, they're they're a little bigger now. They're doing okay. Yeah, I actually, I actually had a meeting with uh, Ken Grossman and uh, and some of the leadership team last night. And right on. Uh, you know they're doing they're doing great. They've got uh, big growth plans for the next year, and uh, they're they're just killing it. I mean, they're you look at their numbers year over year, and and you know there was a lot of talk in there about flagships, and um, Pale's just doing fantastic. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, it's just great. It's great. Matt, just a quick question in fifteen seconds. What do you guys do? Are you packaging soup to nuts? Are you the six packs? Or do you design the what goes on the six packs? So we don't necessarily do the um, the graphic design portion of it. We will format the graphics to to fit a structural design that we can create. Um, so we actually we manufacture the paperboard. So we take it from trees uh, in in the east. We, we we manufacture on virgin paperboard. In the west, we we manufacture on recycled paperboard. So so we take it from. Uh, either bales of old corrugated containers, uh, we print it, we cut it, we fold it and glue it, and uh, we deliver it to our customers. Very interesting. So, and it's six packs, it's uh, can packaging, it's um, uh, litholaminated corrugated, um, you know, so higher end graphics on, on uh, corrugated items for a lot of 12 packs. We sell a boatload of 12 packs. And then the other thing we do is we also make the packaging equipment, yep. which is used in the production lines at the breweries too. Um, package. 12 packs, six packs, what have you. Yeah. So it's interesting, you know, with so many breweries expanding their facilities and growing, you know, it sounds like the actual uh, equipment itself is, is a growing business, and it must mm -hmm. be for you guys. Can you talk a little bit about how that has sort of, been, uh, you know, changed in the last few years? Well, absolutely. Um, cans have probably been one of the biggest trends that have driven the, the machinery applications for our business. And uh, we continue to develop that platform with new new offerings. We've got a Quick Flex 300 coming out later this year um, that uh, is really designed to service the craft beer market. Yep. Um, smaller footprint machine, yep. highly flexible, highly capable piece of equipment. But it's really developing what we're doing, big beers, what big beer is, but craft's really where it's at, and tailoring offerings that match that. And mm -hmm. also how we look at our, our manufacturing footprint, too, for the cartons to really match you know, they want different, they want unique, and how do we deliver that? And you have to be able to do that in, you know, pretty e efficient plants that uh, can adapt to change. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at the risk of throwing around a buzzword, you know, premiumization's been, been something that we've really seen a lot of recently. Yep. Um, a lot of different, um, people looking at different shapes on, uh, you know, six pack side walls and things like that to try yep. to to try to make things jump out. Um, special effects like uh, Greg was talking about, you know, whether it's a, a, a combination of a high gloss finish in, in, in targeted areas with a matte finish in other areas. Yep. Um, we're seeing a lot of that. So it's, very interesting. It's good stuff. Yeah. Very interesting. Uh, last uh, question in terms of like really interesting deployed innovation that you guys have produced, you know, what examples can you give us and, you know, what, what can we see on the market that's your guys' uh, innovation? It's our innovation. Probably um, tight pack is one of the, the most recent innovations. And what is that? Um, so it, it's a package designed to reduce glass breakage. Okay. Um, a lot of uh, a lot of breweries had a lot of um, cost cutting, value engineering, remove partitions in the package, and we found a way to develop a package that actually puts a, a partition or a barrier in between the bottles to prevent breakage. And Interesting. So we're able to do that on our on our lines and. Uh, without adding a tremendous amount of cost in doing so. so it's Sounds like it's of great value to some brewers. It is. Yeah, very cool, very cool. Yeah. Well, I really appreciate you guys taking the time to speak with us. I know yeah, you got a so few here. Oh, there you go. We're going to make right. it work? All right, We're fantastic. Thanks so much, Greg. Thanks Good lot, seeing Greg. you. Enjoy the rest Thank of the show. Guys. I can grab these.
Thanks. Appreciate Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.